Welcome to a new By The Hour video. In this video, I'm gonna do a photo shoot for a new profile picture for my YouTube channel. Let's start by setting up my little photo studio. Oh, and let's start the time. Ready to go. The little studio is set up. Now I'm just gonna trim my beard a little bit, fix my hair and put on another shirt because black is not the best color for a picture, I think. And yeah, start shooting. Better. better. This has to do. Well, half an hour left to shoot. I'm gonna sit here and let's see what I can make. There's only 20 minutes left. I do think that preparation is key with this thing, so let's see. It's not ideal shooting pictures of yourself. To pose and shoot at the same time is pretty hard. Luckily, there are some things that make it easier, like that I can use my phone as a remote. Then I at least don't have to run back and forth every 10 seconds. First, I took some pictures while seated. After a while, to change things up, I thought I'd try a few shots while standing. Let's try standing up. Making small adjustments to the camera and we're ready to go again. Because standing gave me a bit more flexibility, I tried to experiment with the distance from the camera and background as well. Time's up! Because I used my main camera to take the pictures, the actual shooting was a bit hard to film. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like now. When taking pictures, the frame would be a bit bigger. This is because my camera crops the frame when recording video. So just imagine it slightly bigger. Those must be the best poses I've seen all day. Too bad I'm not taking pictures now. Anyway, let's see what I can make of the photos I did take. As I'm editing these photos, I realized I made kind of a mistake. They look a lot like the photo I already have. The only difference is basically that I'm smiling, which is an improvement, I think but still it doesn't really feel satisfying. So to do something different, I thought I'd go outside. It's lovely weather today and try something else. See if it will make me feel more satisfied with the results. And I have just the right location in mind. So let's go there. That's where I'm going. 
So I'm at the location I had in mind, this bridge. I'm gonna go on top and I'm gonna look if I can find a nice place to take a photo on the bridge. I thought I was going on the bridge, but this already looks so good that I'm gonna start here, I guess. <laughs> So I took a few photos here, the GoPro stopped working for some reason, I don't know why. And the Canon app isn't working properly either, so it's going well. <laughs> I did take a few pictures though, it's really nice here with the sun behind the bridge. It's hard to see on the screen here, so I'll just have to see on my computer at home if they're good or not. Let's take some more pictures on the bridge. This might be a good frame. So this was the last location. It was pretty hard actually, because the app wasn't working properly. And I don't know if the focus was right because it didn't respond well. So I just took a lot of photos and hope for the best. I love this location though, and the sun was perfect. So let's see what I can make of it. But first, let's go back home. Oh good. So I'm back home, I'm looking at the photos right now and I'm really happy with how they turned out except for the spinach between my teeth. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't tell me when that happens. But luckily, Photoshop exists. So at least for the photos, that's not a problem. Before I show you the photos, I wanted to say that sometimes you start doing something and when you're done, you realize you overlooked something or you're not really happy with the results. But it's still good that you did it because it gives you a chance to adjust to something that's closer to what you're looking for. In this case, without making the first photos, which turned out great by the way, you'll see, I probably wouldn't have gone out to take the photos I took in the second part of the video. I just needed to take the first pictures to realize I wanted something more because in the end I'm gonna use photos from both sessions, I think, but you'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Now, I won't keep you waiting. Here are the end results. Thanks for watching and see you in the next By The Hour video. Doei!